Hi, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Hannah. We're educators at the Wildlife Conservation Society, an organization dedicated to saving wildlife and wild places around the world. Today, we're inside of Ocean Wonders Sharks, the New York Aquarium's 57,000 square foot exhibit dedicated to the biology, ecology, threats, and conservation needs of sharks, skates, and rays. Our New York Seascape team has been doing work to protect sharks on a number of fronts. Locally, Team members are researching sharks' uses of New York waters through tagging and tracking. The team also advocates for both regulation and legislation. Using our data and research to advocate for sharks helps ensure their protection. We even have team members in Washington, D.C., working with folks on Capitol Hill to advocate for bills and legislation on a national level. Let's see what they have to say. Our area that we work in is right here, the New York seascape. It's an area that spans from New Jersey to New York and includes Long Island Sound. We work to study key species here in New York waters, sharks, eels, other team members are studying whales. And then what we're trying to do is build this sense of place um, to inspire New Yorkers to learn about wildlife when they're at the aquarium and then to support policy and other personal choice actions to conserve wildlife locally. When we're taking on a new project, we look at the science. What, what do we know about the species? What impacts are they facing from human activities? And how can we change human activities to protect wildlife? Fieldwork and data collection is essential to any successful advocacy or uh, legislative action. Um, if you don't have good data on the species that you're trying to protect, then there's no way that you can accurately craft your legislation or, or your, your policy ask. Um, so what we're doing, uh, trying to figure out how sharks are using the waters around New York, we're trying to get a more accurate sense of exactly where these sharks like to hang out and how that relates to, um, to human activities and how we can then use that information to further our policy goals. We're focusing on sharks for a lot of the work that we do in the New York Seascape. Why do we care so much about sharks, skates and rays? These animals are really critically important in the healthy functioning of marine ecosystems. In addition to that, these animals are also among the most vulnerable on the planet. To do the original research on sharks here in New York waters not only helps management of sharks locally, but also gives us credibility to help support scientific-based solutions nationally and internationally. So when the aquarium steps forward, we present not just as a public-facing institution, but also a science-based institution. The New York Aquarium plays a very important role in educating the public about the amazing wildlife that we have right here in our local waters and around the world, and the tremendous work that the Wildlife Conservation Society is doing in the field to help protect it. But we want to do more than just educate people. We want to influence the mechanisms and the, and the policies by which the resources that are out in the ocean are managed. We want to make sure that they, we are taking care of the oceans that we're telling people about that are so wonderful. The New York Aquarium works on policy advocacy issues from a variety of angles. In the past, we've worked at the regulatory level to support strong science-based shark fishery management rules and regulations. Right now, we're working to support a federal bill that would set up a system of protecting sharks internationally by leveraging U.S. leadership in fisheries management and requiring any shark products that come to the U.S. to meet a comparable standard in fisheries management to what fishermen here already achieve. When you start with a new policy idea, you have to go through a number of steps to get it there. You start with the, the development of the idea, putting down what it is you need to get uh, in this policy. You build a coalition around it, take in new ideas, refine your message. You take it up to the Hill, take it to a member of Congress who's going to have their own ideas that they're going to want to marry with yours, and then you, it's a continual process of adding new ideas, new actors, um, other coalition builders, uh, and continually refining your message. We have started very early in the process in reaching out to our grassroots on this because we knew that if we were going to get a critical mass on Capitol Hill to support this, they needed to hear from their constituents. And their constituents are our constituents. So advocacy has played a key role on this. And I have actually been in now to several offices over the last six weeks, and I have had at least five of them mention, oh yeah, I've been getting a lot of mail on this. That's our supporters who are reading our advocacy alerts and responding to them. 
um, and recognizing the great need there is for sharks to have this. And it has, I can tell you firsthand, it has been hurt. I've had members talk to me about this. It's, it's effective.